Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at how you can create this time displacement effect for your videos inside of Adobe After Effects. This is an easy to follow tutorial so let's not waste any time and jump straight in. Okay so inside of After Effects we have two layers, our text layer and then a black solid I created for the background. What we're going to do is start by creating a copy of our text layer using the shortcut command D. Let's pre-compose the layer underneath by right clicking it and then going to pre-compose or you can use the shortcut command shift and C. Let's change the text layer on top to a different colour and then jump inside of the pre-comp. What we want to do now is reduce the size of this composition so that it only contains the text and a small bit of padding on either side. Hit command K and then reduce the width and the height until it looks like this. When you're happy with that hit OK and then we're done. Let's go back into our main composition. Head over to the effects and presets tab and search for CC Reptile and apply this to the pre-comp. In the effects controls expand each direction until it fills the composition. Next add a null object and pair up both of the text layers to the null. This is where we're going to apply our animation. I'm going to rename the null text controller. With this null selected hit P on your keyboard to reveal the position properties and then add 4 keyframes. For the first keyframe we're going to leave this as it is. The second keyframe, drag this down to the bottom of the composition and then the next keyframe we're going to drag this to the top. The last keyframe we'll leave as it is so that our text animation finishes in the centre of the composition. Add easy ease to all of these keyframes and then open the graph editor. We want the middle part of the animation to slow down so tweak the keyframes like this. This is what it looks like. So with everything set up it's now time to add in our time displacement. To do this we need to create an adjustment layer, then go to our effects and presets and search for time displacement. After that hit Y to create a black solid and then search for gradient ramp and apply this to the solid. Ok so the next part is quite easy to forget but it's important for the effect. So go to our new solid and then pre-compose this but make sure you have move all attributes into the new composition selected otherwise this won't work. We can now hide our ramp layer. Then in the effects controls on our time displacement adjustment layer set the source to be the gradient ramp and let's take a look at the preview. That looks pretty cool. The beauty of this approach is that if we want to change the animation all we have to do is jump inside of our gradient ramp pre-comp and then change that to something different. So in this case I'm going to change this from linear to radial and then just change some of the properties. Let's jump back in the working comp and have a look at how this has changed. There's also more to this effect, you don't have to just use gradient ramps, you can actually use footage for it as well. So in this example I have my text animating from the top to the middle and then for my time displacement I'm using this abstract data footage. There are so many different ways you can use a time displacement so I'd recommend playing around with it. That's the end of the tutorial, I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.